<laughs> oh, hey, hey, this is Mary. I'm back with a quick video. You know, yesterday I ended, I, talk, I did talk a little bit about the Akashic Records. That's a, a tool that I've learned to use when I'm searching for something or confused, and basically when I'm searching for something. And uh, I'm just going to read a little bit uh, what they say about it on Google, Wikipedia. It says, um, in the religion of theosophy and the spiritual movement called atrosophy, atr mm, that sounds funny, the Akashic Records are a compendium of all universal events through thoughts, words, emotion, and intent ever to have occurred in the past, present, or future in terms of all entities and life forms, not just humans. Hmm. They are believed by the theosophists to be encod encoded in a non-physical plane of existence known as the mental plane because it is believed that the records are encoded vibratorily into the inherent fabric of space. Some have likened the mechanism as similar to how holograms are created. So this goes, it's a lot of information you could Google about the uh, uh, Akashic Records and the different planes, and it, it can end up being kind of overbearing and more than what you bargain for and I just accidentally well not accidentally I just got curious I went to the school of metaphysics for a while and I was just hungry for a for the answer to a lot of things I didn't understand like I tell you all the time I left the church oh when I was in my 30s mid 30s because that place was driving me crazy I almost lost my mind I had to leave town because of the church what they were doing so I did go astray real far, but this, this inborn, inbred thing in me is what kept me and drove me back to my original point of reference. So the Akashic Records is something you might want to look into if you are looking for answers. Even if you come up to your life purposes, The Life You Were Born to Live by Dan Millman is the greatest book I've ever read when it comes to your life purpose. I I don't know how I ended up getting this book. Most of my books, I know where I got them from, and I just don't know where I got this book from. But I did do my birth numbers, and I'm, my numbers are two, four, six, and it 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 tells the truth about me. My biggest quest is to learn how to be patient. So. When I read that, I said, oh, I just don't have patience. There's a lot of people like me that don't have the patience, but I'm very impatient. But let's see if I have enough time to tell you about this. I don't want to skip around and be confusing you guys, but let's go back to the Akashic Records. Um, I, I was assessing the Akashic Records when I was little. I just didn't know it. I can remember the first time I prayed, I had a prayer request before God, because I said, Jesus, God, I said, Jesus, that's what I said, I said, Jesus, where is my spelling book? Help me find my spelling book. And this boy's answer, you'll find it tomorrow, it'll be a little hard on you. I was assessing the Akashic Records then. And anytime we ask a question, that's what we're doing. Here recently, I had uh, something that really bothered me. Somebody said something to me. And I thought they were talking to me. And I said, oh, that's so sweet, and blah, blah, blah. That's such a sweet thing. But then I, in all during the day and the night, I said, well, why would they tell me that? And they never said that in my life. And I kept asking the question to the universe, why would they do this? Why would they say this? What, what did they mean? And late on that night, I used to get my answer about 3 or 4 o'clock. The voice nudges me because I'm still sitting on the toilet at 3 o'clock. I said, why would she say that to me? And this voice said, she wasn't talking to you, fool. I said, what? 
I said, you got to explain this better. She wasn't talking to me. And then I, I calmed down and went over the whole frame, the conversation, step by step by step by step. Then I said, oh, damn, she really wasn't talking to me. And it really hurt me how I got just overlooked and, and thought it was some kind of praise for me. But I, that that's, a, that's an example of me assessing the Akashic Records, not realizing that's what I was doing because I kept saying, why did she say that? Why, she, why did she do that? Why did she say that? That was the thing that bothered me, and I should have just let it go, but it bothered me. So I, it ended up being a question, and the Akashic Records answered that question. So a lot of times when we even go and... It's not we, uh, that we want to do it for evil purpose, but when something just don't look right, you say, what What the hell does that mean? What's going on? And the universe, Akashic Records, come back and give you an answer to it. So we are already accessing the Akashic Records and don't realize that we're doing it. So that's what I want to talk about, the Akashic Records, how you can get in touch with them and to learn more about your past and remembering your past because Akashic records will tell you about the future because everything past, present, and future is written there. And if you are a seer or a lot of people say or or they have uh, bad names for people who have that gift, but all of us have it. We just don't use it. So if you want to know the future, you can, you can, a glimpse into that with the records and but some people get overbearing with it and take a gift that's given to everybody and want to put themselves up higher and I'm special God chose me and he didn't chose you choose you but we all come with the same manual the same all our bodies are made like the heart the lungs everything so even on a spiritual realm we all have the same gift but a lot of us don't know how to use them a lot of us don't know where they are, but the gift of knowing and remembering is inside of you, and we call it sometimes woman's intuition, which it can be, and it is really uh, Akashi Records intuition, and it's just a small little whisper in your ear, or sometimes it'll say, hell no, that's wrong, they did that, and the, the truth can be so blunt, you'll say, oh, that hurt my feeling, but the spirit knows what it takes to get your attention. So a lot of times it come, it'll come like that. And it's not always a still, small voice in the night. It's not. I know mine doesn't do me like that. Because when I can, I can act silly and ignore warnings. And, and, and I'm the one that asks, is a thunderstorm coming? And it gives you, <laughs> it gives you the answer. And then you say, well, I'm going to ignore that part because that ain't what I want. But you don't get a lot of do-overs when you are assessing that Akashic record. But you guys, I'm I'm trying to um, keep it under 10 minutes because I have a, it t- somebody take two days to load up a video, especially if I use it from my laptop. But anyway, uh, next video I'll be making some, giving some more in- information about the Akashic records because that helps you to remember. And those of you who want to activate your your special gifts or something of seeing into the future, the Akashic Records allows you to do that. So anyway, I'm going to check out. It's uh, 8.59 minutes. All right. I hope you enjoy this. I'll see you next time. Bye.